Welcome back to Crucible Mixtapes. I'm your host, Dev. Today we're going to have more of a universal character build. It's not really going to be focused on any subclasses or exotics. It's really just going to be about Parcel of Stardust and a specific Waking Vigil role. I've been using these two guns in combination quite a bit for the last weekend and I thought it'd be fun to talk about it. I have been throwing in Revoker here and there when I feel like I need it, but I've really been trying to play more with the shotgun lately. I feel like snipers are becoming so meta on PC that trying to creatively defeat a three sniper team with a shotgun actually feels quite, quite rewarding. So I've been trying to play the game that way. I mean, I do get punished for it, and sometimes I do need to switch on to the Revoker, but for the most part, I've actually been finding a lot of success with Parcel of Stardust with opening shot. Um, and uh, it's pretty easy to farm these guns, so I thought I'd just highlight that too. You can farm both Parcel of Stardust and Waking Vigil in the Menagerie, so you can farm them both in the same activity. There's many chances throughout the week to get them, so uh, definitely go get them. See if you can get some competitive roles, but uh, let's talk about these specific roles and why you would want them. So the one that I've been kind of maining for the last few days has been this one. This parcel Stardust comes with Smoothborn Corkscrew Rifling. I use the Corkscrew. It has better bonuses. Light Mag for more range. And then Opening Shot and Rampage. Opening Shot just makes it so your initial shot has more consistency at a higher range. I'm able to just be more aggressive with this shotgun because I know the bullets are going to go mostly where I want them to. I mean, it would be nice if I had rifle barrel or full choke but to be honest rifled barrel kind of destroys your handling on this gun and the big benefit of using parcel stardust is the innate high handling that pretty much puts you at near quick draw speed anyways which is why i think this is quite the competitive shotgun there's many other build variations you can use for this gun but i think opening shot with rampage is the best for transitioning from your first kill into your second kill you're fast with this gun and if you have assault mag you can even increase your rounds per minute but i don't have that on this one maybe next week when i farm but for now i'm having a lot of fun with this build this other parcel of Stardust build is with Rifled Barrel and Barrel Shroud. Barrel Shroud isn't as good, it doesn't give any range. Whereas Rifled Barrel gives a ton of range, but it just tanks your handling. Like, look at how much handling and stability you lose for taking Rifled Barrel. Without Quick Draw, Rifled Barrel, it just feels kind of like a not worth it perk. I'd rather have the base range, have the increase with Light Mag, Opening Shot. And then moving target, interestingly enough, gives you more um, target acquisition, more like aim assist. So I figured maybe combining opening shots aim assist with moving targets aim assist would allow you to be just more consistent, have less RNG bullets, and just let your gun be more sticky. I did like this build, but I found that the Rampage build was much more fun from chaining kills. But if you get opening shot anything honestly the gun is great like once i found out how good opening shot was i originally had an opening shot pulse monitor build and that was good but it wasn't like over the top it just felt average like it was getting me kills that i wouldn't normally get and i figured if i go for a more competitive last perk the gun would top off nicely and i was correct so you can just fit here whatever you need i think rampage is the best but if you like moving target or auto loading holster those are good options too and obviously if you get rifled barrel or full choke that's your own preference um, so this waking vigil that i've been using has been sleeper op for me actually let me just talk to you about my personal waking vigil god roll <laughs> everybody likes to show off their guns here's me showing off my gun so this waking vigil i got i almost dismantled it um, i didn't realize how good this roll was um, i don't know why i mean it's it's nice, but it's not like extra damage. It's just about consistency. But what this roll lets you do is it, it lets you do the slide shot with Zen Moment, which is kind of like a discount rapid hit. And it lets you just stay on target and it lets you constantly stay mobile. Um, high cal rounds to flinch the enemy. You land your first shot and then you that, that second shot. They're shaking. Honestly, high cals really come into handy in 
comp and trials. That's where I felt it. I was getting flinched so much by other people's spare rations and waking vigils that I decided I needed to play with it. Usually I play with ricochet rounds. I think ricochet rounds are just kind of the best option in terms of like a gun's bullet consistency, like your bullet landing over a long range. Ricochet rounds is top tier for that. I feel like there's slightly more ghost bullets with high cal. It could be in my he head. But when your bullets connect with high cal, you're flinching the enemy so much that it just feels worth it. Like in the duel, where you're both damaging each other, high caliber rounds just gives you an extra edge of RNG. In a weird way, it's almost like um, adding a miss RNG. Like in an RPG, like when your character has a chance to miss an attack, high cal rounds add a miss effect in a way because of the screen shake so you just add this random RNG and stack it in your favor you might as well work with it instead of against it um, but this isn't the role that we're talking about today this is the main role I want to talk about which still has the ricochet rounds opening shot instead of the Zen moment opening shot being wonderful for consistency and then dragonfly I initially saw this as a PvE role and I was like you know what I don't really need this in PvE I have other guns I was almost gonna dismantle this then I realized I would keep it around, it'd be fun, and for a while I was still just using it against monsters, but then I thought about playing with it in PvP just for kind of like a mini game where if I get headshot kills, they blow up. I realized that there wasn't any currently farmable 150s in the game that roll with Dragonfly. The only other 150 that rolls with Dragonfly that I know of is Jack Queen King. I didn't get that roll with that gun. I'm okay with it on Waking Vigil, it's totally fine. Um, but what's interesting about this role is I think this is the best Dragonfly hand cannon in the game currently, aside from obviously Ace of Spades, which is really good too, but it's a 140. So I thought about it and I was like, well, Waking Vigil's already pretty top tier with just ricochet rounds, anything. So if you have ricochet rounds opening shot, which is already top tier together, and then you add the dragonfly, what this lets you do is this, this allows you to have, uh, I guess, reward for being precise and getting those headshot kills. I mean, duh, that's what dragonfly does. But again, there's no other 150 in the game that people are using at a competitively high level um, that has dragonfly. So this is like unique. This is the only 150 that can do this. And I figured maybe in like a comp game or even in sixes where people clump together, you get the kills with the waking vigil, headshot kills, and they blow up a dragonfly. It helps you transition from kill to kill better. So that's all I want to talk about. This is quite unique right now in the sandbox other than the Jack Queen King. And uh, again, since waking vigil is a top tier hand cannon, just having this dragonfly build on top of the... I don't know, other mechanics that you're practicing with Waking Vigil. It can be a good option to have. I really think it's a good sleeper option that people aren't looking at because people are looking more for the slide shot, opening shot option, which is also amazing. It's one of the best hand cannons in the game. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this. This can just help you multi-kill better. Like, this is more damage. Like, Dragonfly doesn't always have consistent damage because of it reaching or not but when it does reach it really just helps you up your primary kill damage more it's like an unsung damage buff and uh, yeah that's pretty much the build I mean you can use anything else but I think these two just work really well if you're playing against a lot of snipers in comp having two lightweight guns helps you move up to them as fast as possible and you can just play the mini game of cat and mouse trying to overcome snipers peeking down a lane with the shotgun player so for the most part, this item build is class universal. You can use it on any class that you're most comfortable with. I just tend to gravitate more towards Warlock. In my gameplay, you'll see me using the Top Tree Void Warlock with Blink as a jump option, and the Mid Tree Arc Warlock with Burst Glide as the jump using Geomag stabilizers and also the um, Astro Sight Verse helmet for my blink capabilities on Void Warlock. So when you're playing on this type of build you obviously need to be aware of the sniper lanes and how to avoid them and navigate the map without getting domed, without getting free killed. It's pretty easy to walk into the open and get shot if all you want to do is ape. 
What's really good about the Parcel of Stardust is it lets you ape a little bit more efficiently since it gives you that lightweight bonus. It's one of the most consistent lightweight bonus guns, uh, shotguns in the game. I think one of the other ones is the Seven Seraph gun, which is quite fun. That's really what sparked me to start using the lightweight frames. I liked using the Seven Seraph CQC shoddy so much, and then I saw that the parcel can roll with opening shot and rampage, and I decided I'd I'd farm it until I found one that was consistent enough for my needs. I mean, I had one with rifled barrel an opening shot and I felt like the handling decrease was not worth it so in all these clips I was using the I think it's corkscrew rifling build opening shot and rampage alongside the dragonfly waking vigil from before with dragonfly you're not really trying to force any situations in terms of trying to get the proc you're just playing the game like normal trying to get your three hand cannon shot headshot kills like normal but if they happen to be clumped and you get that kill the second guy will take damage you can transition to the second kill earlier or easier rather and like I said earlier the waking vigil is one of the best energy hand cannons in the game one of the best hand cannons in general uh, it can't roll with rangefinder but it can have the opening shot and slide shot bonus and for the most part, a lot of the top tier players have muscle memory with Waking Vigil, so you'll be seeing this gun quite a bit if you're playing comp on the higher end of the ladder. Practicing with Waking Vigil and then adding Dragonfly to it just adds a different flavor to it. You're not really doing anything muscle memory wise differently, aside from really trying to get those headshots so you can get that added benefit of Dragonfly. And that's really it, is there's no time limit there's no kill clip bonus to juggle it's just being on target opening shot helps you be on target for one of those three shots and then the other two are up to you it's up to you to get those headshots and i find that i do tend to sometimes go for those body shot kills when i know i can get it but dragonfly tends to keep me honest about my headshot kills it tends to keep me on target a bit more just because i want to see that explosion even if it doesn't hurt them you never know movement happens so fast in destiny you may headshot kill a guy and then his ally just happens to burst past him and you never could have calculated that but because of how fast his ally was moving on his screen it all just happened and fall together perfectly in a way that you couldn't have seen until it actually happened so I guess the moral of the story is, as long as you're staying on target with this Dragonfly hand cannon, eventually you'll be rewarded for it in a way that you would never really guess. <laughs> it will just, people and situations will fall into place. And it's really cool when it works out like that. Otherwise, it's just a really consistent hand cannon and one that you'll see quite a bit on the higher end of the spectrum. Now with Parcel, you will get outshot, outgunned by God Roll Astral Horizons and God Roll Mindbenders. As good as the opening shot parcel Stardust Roll is, its damage profile is still a bit lower than the high aggressive frame shotguns. The pellets just don't do as much, so you will have many moments where you need to follow through with the melee, but they will be absolute and your pellets will land. It would be great if you could land with the one-two punch. That would probably be a really good perk for this gun, but whatever. Rampage, opening shot, it's got roll enough. What's really good about the parcel is that innately it has a high handling stat, so you don't really need the quick draw benefits that you need with an aggressive frame shotgun because those have low handling. So this just means that the parcel of Stardust is almost always ready. And... Um, if you're like me and you play Blink style quite a bit with uh, Astro Sight Veil, Astro Sight Verse rather, <laughs> if you're using this helmet, Astro Sight Verse, you'll get a kind of diet quick draw benefit after blinking. So if you're using Parcel of Stardust with that helmet, you've pretty much got quick draw as an added benefit right after blinking. Your gun's handling is boosted and it's just ready for right after. It's just like year one, destiny one, aping with a shotgun. So it's it's really good in terms of just being an available gun. It's not clunky and 
it's overall just there. It's it's up to you to decide how to use the parcel. It feels like such a high skill cap shoddy. I don't know. It doesn't feel so crutchy, even with the opening shot benefit helping me with target acquisition. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like I'm stacking anything so broken. It feels like a balanced option in this sandbox. I've been stuffed by the god roll astral horizons and those feel amazing like in terms of like what they can kill when i have a guy in my team who's using that gun and he's really good with it it just feels like he can map people that the uh the parcel will reach in similar range but it won't one hit ko it'll be a two hit ko and you just need to be ready for that but a lot of times the enemy is not ready they're not ready for how fast your follow sh follow up shot can come out and the great benefit is that sometimes you don't need to two-shot people, sometimes it's just a one-shot kill and you can transition to the second guy right away after your kill. And you have that rampage bonus and then it suddenly becomes a way more consistent gun just because you have that damage bonus. So you can just ramp up and get so strong with rampage and opening shot on the shotgun. So I just recommend it. I don't know. I. I just wanted to talk about this because I've been playing with it for a bit. I don't have an Astral Horizon myself. I do sometimes use an Imperial Decree with Threat Detector to uh, kind of have a kinetic, aggressive frame shotgun that's consistent and powerful. Uh, another thing about Parcel is that it can roll with Threat Detector if you did want to give it like even more handling to put it at quick draw status, but I don't think it's necessary. You're better off trying to get the opening shot for more bullet consistency in my opinion. And then finally I just think it goes really well. Uh, Parcel Stardust with the Waking Vigil, they're really good together. Just shotgun and hand cannon, the classic Destiny PvP try hard loadout or hand cannon and snipers is one of those two usually and these just slot so well together. They work great in combination. You're just ready for up close and somewhat medium range engagements uh, and it works in pretty much every lobby you're not really thinking so much about the loadout you're just able to kind of feel out the map feel out the players and traverse many situations with this build um, definitely just give it a try I highly highly recommend it it's so fun just seeing what you pull off with parcel and it's just a surprising shotgun I'm still learning what the limits of Parcel of Stardust is as like a main shotgun, if that sounds right. Like, there were so many times in the beginning where I was like tempted to put on my Mindbender's Ambition instead, but once I got used to the way Parcel does damage and how I play with it, I find that I almost like it a little bit more than Mindbender's. It just feels more rewarding to pull off and to get multi kills with than using the Mindbender's. But then when I do switch to Mindbender's after practicing with Parcel, I'm always surprised at how consistently far Mindbender's kills just because of its damage profile and the perk combinations it can get. So, and the funny thing about Parcel and Mindbender's is that they share the same gun model, so if you're using Mindbender's Ambition and you're really accustomed to that gun, it's, it's no different muscle memory, it's just kill range memory. You'll have to be a little bit closer with Parcel to get that one hit kill, but the gun model is the same if you've been using Mindbender's, so that's one way to kind of easily transition into the parcel playstyle. But uh, that's pretty much everything I had to say about this build. I hope uh, it was entertaining for you guys and I hope you can see why this is kind of a, a good build combination. Again with the Waking Vigil being one of the best hand cannons in the game but also having the Dragonfly perk on it. It's not really a gimmick with it although you could have slide shot in the same Column, I think on a lot of other guns, Dragonfly is a bit of a gimmick, but I think on Waking Visual, it's actually somewhat of a consistent perk. Uh, I hope you like the content, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!